Hollywood Teens Inn and we're interviewing Jason, Justin, and we're Austin's Bridge. Okay, let's um, talk about a little bit how y'all got started, how y'all came up with this and just started singing, getting yeah. your music out there. How did that go? Started in Austin, Texas, uh, is where Justin and I met, and um, we kind of sat down and just kind of traded songs and ideas, what we wanted to do with music, and that's really the gist of how it got started. We, we put on a, uh, a showcase in Nashville about a month later. Um, it was the first time we'd ever sung on stage together. It was me, Justin, and another guy. And, um, that, was, that was kind of the end. We, we've been on the road ever since. So. And do you all write your own music? We tried to, yeah, for this record. Um, we, we were only fortunate enough to get three cuts on it. But, you you know, gotta we, take the better song. <laughs> yeah, the better song. We, we wrote close to 40 songs for this record. It was produced by Jada Marcus of Rascal Flats. Hey. You guys may know that. And um, so it's just kind of a culmination of um, like pop, rock, southern rock, uh, country, a little bit of Christian stuff. Uh, some of our roots, his dad's a deacon in a church, and my dad's a pastor, so we have deep roots in the church, but also grew up in the country and loving country music. And um, so just we had some great writers, Neil Thrasher, who's written for Keith Urban, Faith Hill, and of course Rascal Flatts. But Jay got a couple cuts on Jay there. Jay DeMarcus wrote some songs. Yeah. So. It's uh, great songs, great music, if you love that whole country, bluesy, southern rock kind of sound. The more we're in this, the more, and this goes with Jay especially, uh, the more we do it, the more you realize that people like Jay are very um, enthusiastic and bring the best out in you and uh, very down to earth and laid back. So once you get past the, you know, the facade of stardom, you know? Walking in his house and seeing millions, all millions, and millions of, of records right. sold, it's crazy. Get but. past that, um, he's really down there and just a lot of fun to be around. And, and it made, he made it, it was great about making this video. It was a lot of fun. That's good. And you said y'all have been on the road. How is that like working with your fans and getting and getting to meet new people? How is, how is that going? Fans in country music are the most loyal and, and the most fun to be around. So uh, without without the fans coming to the shows, you know, there's really nobody to perform for. And, and uh, so it's been great. I mean, we, we take up every opportunity we can to kind of mingle in with the fans and, and uh, you know, just try to be as real and transparent as we can be. Yeah. Um, have y'all had any crazy experiences with fans yet thus far? <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got, a few. We, uh, we've got several that that drive just about across country to see as most places we perform. Um, it's wild. Like the other night we were in some uh, Dallas, Texas, and then the next night we were like, it took our bus driver, I forget, like nine or ten hours to drive, and they actually beat us to the concert. And, you know, so it's just, you have fans like that, which is great because they come out and support you, so. Well, do you want to play a song? You got something for sure. us? Yeah. Absolutely. Gotta go grab okay, all right, let's do it. All day. <laughs> they say some will win and some will lose It's up to us to choose Me, I think that's what we know Don't count on the bricks Get on the can but it takes Let nobody pick your It was a two-year process. Um, we started back in 08. Um, June of 08. June of 08. Uh, just kind of throwing out the idea of even having Jay DeMarcus uh, produce our record. You know, it was just kind of one of those crazy questions that our record label said, who would you guys like to produce this next record? And we just threw his name out there. And luckily they said, well, we could probably actually get in touch with him and see if he's interested. And um, he, shown, he showed a lot of interest in, in wanting to do it. Um, 
which we were very thankful for. So then we began the song selection process, which took a good majority of, uh, of, the, of the time, you know, to actually make the record. And of course, working around uh, Rascal Flatts schedule, they were out on tour and in the process of making a record themselves. So we had to kind of jump through some hoops, so to speak. And, um, but the end result, I think, was well worth it. It is a very tough process because not only did we have the 30 or 40 songs that, that we brought to the table, but also had 100 or 200 more, you know, that other people had written that Jay had brought to the table and the ones that he had written. And it was actually a really interesting process. Um, the way Jay kind of presented it was, you know, we had, I think, eight or ten people in the room. <laughs> Everybody wrote down their fav their top ten favorites, you know, and then from there you, you kind of picked and choose what everybody had voted on. If it got a unanimous vote, obviously we put that on a list, and then there were a few that didn't. So you sit down and re-listen to those and talk to them, them through and vote again. And um, that's that was kind of the song selection process on an individual basis. It was making sure you had a song that had a good melody line, a good hook, good lyric. Um, you know, and out of 300 songs, we came down with I think 30. I think yeah. 30 songs that we thought were substantially good, and then had to whittle it down from there. And when you have eight people in a room, everybody's got their own opinion. That gets a little challenging. You know, just creative writing. You know, clever thinking, and. Um, I think between all the songs that have ever been written, just about anything you want to say has already been said. I think it's just finding new and unique ways to say it. Um, so I, I'm a huge fan of cool like hooks that twist, like Brad Paisley, he's a great um, twisty writer. And I love stuff like that. Anything like that kind of grabs me immediately and catches my attention. And, um, I, I think it's a combination of things, kind of where you are as an artist, um, you know, emotionally and kind of what you want to portray or you want your music to portray, um, alongside of a great melody and, and lyrics that are very strong. Yeah, I think if you, if you have a song that can draw an emotion out of a listener, whether it's laughing or crying or getting angry or whatever, if you can draw out that kind of emotion, then it's probably got something pretty good. I think that there's, what we're seeing is a trend in the listener. I think, I think we're finding, and this is just my opinion, but I think people are out there looking for something that they can relate to. Um, it's not so much about well, party songs or whatever, while they, those have their place. I think the majority of people who are buying music are, are people who are searching for something that's either going to make them feel good or something that they relate to. It's a little bit more... Um, uh, Real life. Yeah. Earthy. Not yeah. earthy is the wrong word. Uh, Just, yeah, songs about life, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're living in a day and age right now where the economy's upside down, and you know, we've had the flood, and now there's this big oil thing going on in the ocean or in the Gulf, and, and um, people, including people in my own family, you know, lost their jobs and that kind of thing, and when you're feeling kind of down in the dumps, and a song comes on the radio that, that talks about it and you can connect with on a personal level, all of a sudden you're interested. Well, it gives you a sense of hope, yeah. you know, and really that's kind of what we wanted to do with our music, um, is, is basically just create a sense of urgency of, you know, extending a hand to your fellow man and, and um, you know, just kind of reaching out to help someone in need or offering encouragement yeah. or some uplifting message. So that's, that's really kind of what we want to do with our music.